Hey guys, what is up? It is Charles here and I'm back again with another unboxing video. I know I've recently been doing quite a few of these videos, but they seem to be pretty popular and you guys quite like them and they seem to get quite a, like, a lot of likes and views on YouTube. So I thought, why not do another one today? Now, as you can tell, my cable management is not very good and I did explain this in the last video that I actually move quite a lot. Um, but one thing that someone said to me was about this bad boy, which is the Death Adder Chroma 2016 edition. Um, because it's a wireless mouse, no sorry, because it's a wired mouse, it can cause uh, a bit of annoying tension with the Firefly mouse mat. Which is also a wired mouse mat, so you have two wires for essentially uh, one kind of accessory. So what I've gone and done today is I have picked up a some, some pretty something pretty damn cool, which is this bad boy here, and the box is pretty huge as well. It's the Razer Mamba 16,000 DPI wireless gaming mouse in Chroma, which is the eSports edition. Um, so that essentially I don't have to have a stupid wire anymore. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy unboxed and opened. So I didn't know this prior to opening it, but it actually, and that's why it's got so much weight to it, uh, it actually comes in this quite cool metal container with this fold-out box here. Uh, th this is what is actually inside the box, this quite cool razor metal container which actually holds all the mouse inside it. Um, and it has got this lid on it which I can open and got the congratulations, there's no turning back Razer logo from their, uh, sorry, Razer introduction uh, letter from their CEO, which is me and Lee and Tan. Um, and there's the bad boy mouse itself with all the welcome additions. As you can see, no wires, thank God. Uh, so the mouse itself is pretty lightweight, it's pretty cool. All I have to do is actually install the battery pack, I believe, to get this bad boy working. It has got essentially the same um, amount of things so basically prior to this on the old Mamba it had about nine buttons all down the side here and now it's gone to the same as the Death Adder Chroma which you can see here has the same kind of two button layout on the side as well as having these two buttons here which the Death Adder Chroma does not have um, so it makes it a lot easier to you know hotkey your things when you're doing when you're playing games and stuff as well as all these cool lights down the side which the Death Adder Chroma doesn't have as well. Okay so it's now all set up on its little stand and this is what it looks like when it's charging on its little desk stand uh, if I take it off and then turn it on via the on button here you'll notice the colors start changing to how they normally would be and also the mouse uh, normally the mouse tracker pad and the mouse charger pad uh, change to the exact same colors as this one and that's to indicate that it is actually connected both together um, this mouse is awesome it's got the only downside i would say is it's got quite a bit more weight to it than the uh, death had a chroma though that's quite expected probably because it's got a very large battery pack inside of it and possibly also a lot more wireless uh, pieces as well but overall i give this mouse a solid nine out of ten uh, these two buttons here are to make the sensitivity higher and lower so that's quite cool as well and then these two i've set up already to work in league of legends and some various other games as well hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one Peace.